Good morning, everyone. I'm over here in Quartzsite, and I'm at the New Year's Eve party that we're having for escapers. It's just a couple of days before New Year's Eve and everybody's still getting here, but it's a beautiful day even though it's colder than you know what here. Holy cow, it's like 30 something degrees. There was a freeze warning last night, but uh, didn't freeze completely. Being really careful with the pipes because as you might know, my Heimer uh, van plumbing is all uh, below the van and exposed. So we need to make sure that that stays warm. So I kept the heater on last night at a fairly high temperature, not too high, but higher temperature than I normally would. And made sure all the water had been pumped out of the pipes as much as I could possibly get out of there, just by opening up all of the valves and turning the water pump off. So hopefully that helps. It didn't get below 30 degrees. I think it got down to like 32, 33. Um, supposedly the magic number is 27 where things really start freezing fairly quickly, but it's warm during the day, so I think we'll be fine. So we'll see how it works. Cross your fingers. So I was brave this time for this convergence. Look, I'm stuck between two big old class A's right in the party section, which is right here by this campfire. How's Zena liking that? She's she's pretty cool with it. Yeah, she's like comfy. So cute. Feel extra friendly and try and make a new friend this week if you've been to a few few events. I do want to say that the, the convergences are getting so popular. Hey, Mark! Hey, Mark! It was so great to see all of my nomadic friends again since we all kind of dispersed during the summer and come back again for the winter festivities. For whatever reason, it was much colder this year in Quartzsite and all of the Southwest. So we had a major fire burning all night long on New Year's Eve and all kinds of food and beverages were flowing all over the place, but we had such a great time. Uh, we watched the countdown in New York City here on the big screen. Instead of dropping the ball, we dropped a Christmas tree. It was a dead Christmas tree that someone had taken with them from Christmas and let it all dry out and then we dropped that for New Year's Eve.
Happy anniversary. Every time we come out here to the desert, we all take a caravan to the desert bar, which is over in the Parker, Arizona area. And it's literally this bar in the desert all by itself, and it's off grid. It runs completely on solar. It's a pretty cool spot. Desert bar uh, over near Parker in Arizona with all of our escaper friends. It's a bar out in the desert that's completely off grid, powered by solar power. So they've got the, you know, bar drinks and bar food. So we're gonna go in and see what it's like. This is my first time, but I'm doing a meetup with Joni from the Galavan, and we are doing a meetup for our YouTube subscribers and Facebook followers. So uh, we have our vans over here next to each other. Hey there. <laughs> this is Joni from the Galavan, and we've just set up our little vans over here next to each other. I met Joni through the Escapers group, and we both have vans and connected. We have a YouTube channel, so. We thought we would just do a joint meetup. Yeah. All right, so we're over here at the RTR. We've got all these lovely ladies over here. Say hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Um, he's gonna be yeah, as we listen to her story, do you get a lot of women who come up to you when you're um, on, uh, because they follow you on YouTube and ask you those kind of questions, like how do I get started or what's going on or how did you live your life to get you ready to go? Yeah, absolutely. I'm out here with Chris with... I'm um, Chris with She Loves Camping. Thank you. And she came out to the subscriber meetup, although she's not even a subscriber yet. I will be. I'm pushing the button like, right now. Let me put the phone Why down. Why haven't you done it yet? I know, right? I need to like, I hold on. It. Stop recording. <laughs> <laughs> right. So she has this amazing razor. I've never driven one before, but she's actually letting me drive even though she just met me. She, she doesn't know that I might throw her out the side. Totally so, seatbelt. Seat seat <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. 